Photoshop's been around a long time. Next year, it'll celebrate its 25th birthday. And I don't think Photoshop would be where it is if it weren't for our customers. Beginning in CS5, we really started taking the feedback from customers and putting it directly into the application. We used a project called JDI, or Just Do It, which we borrowed from the video team. And the whole idea is that we would pause major feature development and take your feedback and bake it into the application. We'd spend a week or less addressing minor speed bumps, performance, quirks, and just things that didn't quite work the way you expected them to. We've since added hundreds of those, and they've become extremely popular. I literally have people come up and hug me when I come off stage sometimes. So today I'd like to show you just a few of my favorite JDIs. Okay, so here we are in Photoshop with a multi-layered file, lots of different layers here. And again, there are well over 100 JDIs. I just want to show you a few of these. This particular image, you can see we've got some different layers of fish. And a great example of one of the things that you asked for is the ability to not only multi-select these layers, but change the opacity of more than one at a time. And that went in in CS5, along with the ability to change the fill. Now, we quickly followed that up because you still wanted more. You wanted the ability to change the blend mode. So we did that next in CS6. I can do any of my different blend modes over multiple layers. And these have been really enthusiastically received. They save a lot of time. Another thing I could do is with 32-bit files. So it used to be that we didn't have support for 32-bit TIFFs, but now we do. And so not only could I save this 32-bit file as a TIFF, but it could be up to four gigabytes. It could be bigger than it ever was. That's a really common file format, and we heard you when you said you wanted them to be supported in a large document and a high bit depth. Presets. Presets are something that everybody uses, and there is preset content all over the application, and that's because it helps you get further faster. So let me show you a couple of places where presets have been added as a JDI. One of my favorites is with Gradient Map which is a great way to make black and whites. And what you need to do is just come in here and load these photographic toning presets. There are dozens of these. Really beautiful black and white and monochromatic presets that allow you to get one-click changes to your image. They dramatically change the look of your image. Of course, these are all over the place. I could also come into something like Color Lookup and whether I'm applying this to a still or a video, I could get really, really nice changes to my image really quickly with the preset content there. So those are just a few of well over 100 JDIs. In the spirit of all of this, I want to say thank you so much for all of your feedback with the playbook. I had such a great time recording all these episodes. At the end of this 50th episode, I thought a great way to thank you would be to encourage this whole JDI process and welcome your feedback. Whether it's feedback on the series, feature requests in Photoshop, or anything else you'd like to know, while I can't promise a lifelong correspondence, I do promise I'll get back to you and help you find the information you need. This is my email address right here. Please do contact me, and thank you so much for watching.